Okay, so we have our three buttons, our animation player. Now, when the uh, we need a new animation, so I might just duplicate this one and rename it as hide. Okay, and then when we click the play button, we just say animation player. In fact, we don't need to get the timer at all. We just say play the hide animation, and then we just yield on the animation player, animation finished event, and then, then we emit our signal of play. Right, uh, and we can essentially just flip all of these around. So how's that going to look? Okay, so we want the background image to actually do that a little bit faster. And we can stagger this. And then let's just tweak these curves. These curves are going to be crazy. <laughs> okay. So, oh yeah, that's probably fine. So we kind of just want to ease into this animation and then just pop straight out, right? Maybe you don't ease too much into it. Okay, and the this needs to be more sudden. So let's just yank that right out. How do you change the vertical zoom on this? I don't think you can. Okay. And that needs to be a little bit more violent as well, I think. And that's probably just starting a bit too late. Maybe just, let's see. Uh, 
And in fact, that can probably speed up. Okay, so I feel like this is lagging a little bit towards the middle. Oh, it's because of these weird... yeah. Okay, so instead of lagging towards the middle, we can just, just bring those down. Nice, cool, all right. So that will give us uh, a pretty decent animation. Oh, and I guess what we can do is we can just fade out this color rect as well. So on the reset, we can put the color rect color here and we'll just plonk it there. And then when we hide, we'll do the same thing, but just animate that color into a, like a little fade out towards the end. And that probably only, the whole animation probably needs to be three seconds, not even that, maybe two seconds is better, because you're just waiting to play the game otherwise. Okay. Zero, all right, and let's ease this in. Ease it in. Yep, ease it in. Cool. Sweet. Um, I don't actually have a logo for my company yet. <laughs> so we kind of want a splash screen as well. So if we just save this as our splash screen and I think we can pretty much just get rid of all of this stuff. And just have like a little white logo in the middle. I guess we could just make it full, full rect, and then vertically align it right, uh, which is under paragraph, I think. Uh, was it? Is that even a thing anymore? I can't remember. I haven't done a lot of Photoshop recently. I guess it doesn't have to be centered, right?
kind of like the idea of just like three massive dots. It's not that massive, but what cool characters do we have on in this set? Do we have Phi? It could be a really cool just little symbol. Ooh. Okay. How do we get that? This symbol. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's make it like 200. Would it be weird? to put this in the middle when it's literally the symbol of non-symmetry. Non-symmetrical beauty. <laughs> Be weird. We do like three, five, eight. How big will that be? There we go. That uh, drop shadow probably be brought in a little bit. Where is it coming from? It's coming from this element. Oh no, it's coming from the group. Um, sweet. All right. So. That's now our splash screen. So if we go to our product project settings and our boot splash, uh, BG color. Oh yeah, what's our BG color? I'm going all pink now. I went and got soft. FF6888. Okay. Cool. And I don't know if we need a filter on this. I suppose we want to. Okay, I'm going to copy this into out of the marketing because this probably shouldn't be part of Godot project, but. Uh, okay, and we'll put it in the GUI, main menu, and just paste that in as our splash screen. 